Well, half past four this morning we left, and uh, yeah, we're ready north. It's going to be fun. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good day today. It's going to be a long, long day. Yeah, I'll tell you where we are in a minute. Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to Birmingham NEC. It's uh, motorcycle life. Let's run the trailer and uh, see you there in a minute. stand that I'm on is a data tool but the object of this uh, video is to really look at some of the smaller stands so data tool that's behind me here now uh, let's just click on that okay so this is all about security for your bike uh, trackers and stuff like that and I can recommend them they're an excellent company and their equipment uh, is excellent as well and their fitting is really good as well and yeah, Data Tool Stealth 5 is, uh, is the latest and it's a really, really good piece of kit and I wouldn't have a bike now without it. I think it's uh, definitely worth having. So if you're coming to the show, come down and have a look at Data Tool. They are absolutely brilliant and definitely worth uh, coming and talking to these boys. Yeah. organization here is MAG, Motorcycle Action Group, they're definitely worth um, having a look at them, have a look online. Uh, they're fighting for bikers, they're fighting for bikers' rights and uh, yeah, very, very useful group to be a part of. So MAG, come and see MAG when you're down here. Yeah, yeah. come and yeah. see MAG, we'll give you leaflets and we'll tell you all what we're doing. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> kind of forget how big this place actually is. Um, I think I've picked the right day and I've certainly come early enough. Um, so I left home this morning, I passed four. Uh, I've actually got another job on up this way, which is why I'm here. Uh, it wasn't just a quick trip up to the NEC. It was, uh, there's another job on, uh, which we've got to do business-wise, so that's why we're here. But uh, couldn't come up this far without popping in here. So I uh, left home this morning, up past four, and uh, arrived here about quarter to ten. Uh, so at the moment, it's very quiet, not too many people around. And give me a good opportunity to look around uh, in this vast, vast, uh, vast, vast arena. Yeah, it's cool. So, uh, yeah, on we go. So, is the future electric? I don't think it is. I don't see that it can be. Um, yeah, I think if it is, we're all very vulnerable um, to, you know, being shut down basically. Uh, so yeah, not for me. There are some quite fancy bikes here on the Zero motorcycle stand. Uh, but as I say, it's, uh, it's electric and it's not, not for me. Uh, hopefully in my lifetime, I won't need to bother even going down that road. Uh, stick with what I know. So these um, dry top dusty off covers, uh, most aqua covers, have been highly recommended to me as well. Um, yeah, they're not uh, the cheapest thing on the market, but they are heavy duty, and I think that's important. Uh, it's so easy for these things to tear, and if you're going to have a cover, you need a decent one.
have got to admire these uh, BMWs, uh, the cruising type, uh, the, I think it's the R18, uh, which looks incredible. Uh, there's one behind me called the Night Dragon, and it's a really cool looking bike. Uh, I'm going to spin around a minute and let you have a look at it. But uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about the engine situation as it is with the cylinders sticking out of the side, but for getting your feet under, but uh, yeah, it seems to be okay. I've seen a few people test ride them. So uh, it's going to be interesting to, uh, to have a look at that, a bit more detail. You never know. Who, oh, hang on. You never know who you're going to bump into down here. And look, here he is. It's Kelv, and uh, he's got a fantastic channel. Going. Motorcycles and destinations. destinations. That's the one. So I'll put a link on here so you can you know, go and have a look at those because they are absolutely fantastic. So, oh, well, thank you. So we tell you what, Jane and I are really loving it, but we do need the support to keep the channel going um, because we can't do it without you. Simple absolutely. As that, really, and the same with you, Tony. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We can't do it without viewers. So please, please subscribe to both. You know. Links to come on here as well. So catch you later. Oh, Cheers, thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank you. yourself a pair of tickets for next year's Motorcycle Live. How about that? Brilliant. Sit down and concentrate and focus. Um, and I think you're getting some help from your husband. We don't care or whoever you're down. No, you're not. Okay. Just the fact that you're holding a phone. Doesn't matter to me. So carry on down there. You're going to get, I'll tell you what, if you win this and you're going to get there, you are, you've got a free ticket all around them. While we're here, another one I can recommend, another stand, which I can recommend because I've had that gear, and that is uh, City Leather, which is behind me here. So we can focus in on that. Come and see these boys because they're really, really good. They've got some good products, great prices, and uh, yeah, they're, um, they're, they're, they're most bike shows. I mean, they come down our way as well, where we used to support BMAD uh, with Kelvin, and uh, yeah, definitely come and see them because they are a great bunch of guys and they've got some great leather products there as well. A lap at the TT, so times that by six, and every single one I had to do manually basically, so it was uh, not the easiest race. and. Having said all that, we did the fastest lap of the race and I still fi finished second, so it wasn't all down in the, <laughs> down in the dumps and doom and gloom. It's probably the biggest argument at the minute, isn't it? The biggest, the best way of describing it's really easy to ride. I can jump on it, I can do whatever I want with it, whenever I want with it. It's flexible, it's got a bit more flex in the chassis, the swing arm, the forks, all the rest of it. However, if you get the superbike correct and right, you will be faster on the superbike. And that's the difference. One of the fascinating things about this show is the amount of stuff that there is available. Um, biker jackets, biker boots, camera systems for your um, bike, you name it, it's, it's like it's here. And there's parts of this show, it's just like a maze of stuff. And you go around it a few times and you think, have I been here before? And then you realise that you haven't actually been there before. And uh, yeah, some incredible stuff. Uh, motorcycle helmets, like more helmets than you've ever seen. Leather jackets. Uh, some some bizarre stuff, some strange stuff. You know, like artists' kind of pictures and posters, and you name it. They, it's it's here. So yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of meander through this bit here, which is really quite. Uh, quite a maze of stuff really. you get your shoes cleaned here uh, they do tend to jump on you a little bit but hey that's business isn't it so yeah
that's more like it. Can we get Neil a little bit higher? Yeah, that is, you see here how the system is reacting. When it comes to full compression, the motorbike electronics notice that there is a jump. So, Dave finished off with a um, meal on the last in the uh, resort world, which has got quite a few places in it. Uh, we normally come here um, and uh, yeah, they do two for one cocktails for Sarah and two for one meals as well. So, hopefully, it's going to be a cheap one. Hopefully. Yeah, good.